Hi, and welcome back to Hands-on Infrastructure Automation with Terraform on AWS by Pack Publishing. In this section, we will learn the fundamentals of Terraform. We will cover the basic syntax and some of the key building blocks of Terraform configuration, such as providers and resources. We will learn how to use several of essential Terraform commands, init, plan, and apply. By the end of the section, you will understand how to configure Terraform to talk to AWS and know how to deploy your first resource. In the later sections of this course, we will build on those foundations and learn how to create more complex infrastructure configurations. Let's talk about the syntax for a little bit. It is not the most exciting topic, but it's important to understand what we are up against here. Terraform uses HCL, HashiCorp configuration language. You may wonder why HashiCorp had to invent a new language. Why they couldn't just use one of the existing ones, such as JSON or YAML? And the main reason is human friendliness. If you ever had to hand edit old style AWS CloudFormation templates, you know how painful it can be. You try to add a little snippet of code to your template, forget a comma, or a quote, or a curly brace, and then spend five minutes figuring out where it all went wrong. JSON is quite robust and doesn't support comments, which is a major limitation. JSON is machine readable and is not as painful as XML, for example but very few people enjoy being full-time JSON developers. Another option was using YAML. YAML is easier on the eyes, it supports commons, and it was a huge improvement when CloudFormation added YAML support. Still, it's quite easy to mess up indentation, and it's not always clear where you should use a colon or a hyphen, especially when you start using nested maps and lists. So HashiCorp went ahead and invented a language which is designed to be written and modified by humans, while being machine-friendly at the same time. You can also use JSON as input to Terraform. This can be handy if you are generating your configuration dynamically, but in this course we will focus on HCL. Now let's take a quick look at the main features of HCL. Let me jump over to the code sample in my text editor. This is how a typical Terraform configuration file looks like. You can have single line comments which start with a double slash or a number sign. Multi-line comments are wrapped in slash asterisk. Values are assigned using the familiar syntax key equals value. Strings are double quoted, and you can also have multi line strings, similar to here docs. There are other primitive data types that you can use, such as numbers and booleans. You can also use arrays or lists, and objects, also named maps or dictionaries. This covers the basic HCL syntax. There are also other things which are specific to Terraform, such as interpolations, conditionals, and various built in functions, and we will touch on that in the later modules. But for now, this is enough to understand what we will cover in this section.